What's going on guys? Welcome to the 25th Scikit-Learn with Python for Machine Learning tutorial video. In this video we're going to now be uh, testing with the new data that we gathered. So we wanted to put together a list uh, for training purposes of stocks that either significantly outperform the market or not. And we labeled the significant outperformers as ones, otherwise we labeled the other ones as zeros. And we did this because our return of companies was just so high uh, as far as uh, ones to invest in that our script thought would be good. But just to reiterate, we got basically 50% companies saying they would outperform and 50% underperform, which statistically lines up pretty darn good. Uh, so the accuracy there at predictions might actually be very good. But anyway, uh, moving along, we... Um, we want to now test, and the last serious testing script was uh, part 23. So I'm going to just copy that and all and paste. And here we are to run um, our new test. And we the only thing we need to change here is this build data set, okay? Because this has the new values of underperform or outperform. So this is with NA, without NA. Um, also, moving on uh, into the future, we probably could make a script, I mean, we not not probably, we could make a script that uh, does the from CSV, loads this in, and then just simply modifies the underperform or outperform, or the status, right, modifies the status based on a value we set, and that value is just, you know, uh, S&P 500, or no, stock percentage change minus S&P 500 percentage change. So we can actually modify that really quick. We don't really need to run the whole script through like we've been running. So uh, keep that in mind. So if you want to like tweak this and maybe try 7%, 6%, 6.5%, 6 like you can really get to that perfect number if, if you want. So, but watch out for data snooping there. Uh, so with NA, so let me think here. I uh, forget what we titled the... Um, so it's just an underscore enhanced. So underscore enhanced, um, like that. And you could even really build it into this script, actually. Oh, man, so many ideas are flowing. But you could actually probably set like a global number here, run through this, and you can set the value of the status column uh, to be a zero or one based on that difference. Uh, and you can do that really quick, actually. So, hmm. Uh, kind of tempted to, not in this one, but definitely, definitely like maybe one of these coming tutorials. I might add that. Uh, initially, this was going to be <laughs> one of the last videos, but now that I think about it, that would be really simple to add. Anyway, uh, let's test. <laughs> that should be the only change I think that we have to make at, uh, at this point. Uh, so let's run that real quick. Uh, syntax issue. Don't know where that popped up from. Let's just get rid of that. Let's try again. I should have ran this while I was talking, but yeah, that idea just kind of came to me actually uh, that we could uh, fairly easily. I think it's like maybe we got our information. No, no information apparently. Uh, with NA, let's try no NA and see what we did wrong. Uh, oh, we got some uh, some suggestions there. It's strange that with NA would have them and without would not. Um, we could run that maybe one more time. Uh, anyway, so here are some suggested or suggestions. Uh, these are, would be the companies that we might think about investing into. So this time we only have 28 as opposed to like the you know, 280 that we had before. <laughs> so uh, there's always that. Uh, so let's see. I mean, heck, even Z could be the return of this minus this. You wouldn't even need, uh, or no, you can make, well, you can make a Y re return that. Anyway, not important. Um, sort of important. I'm curious why no... Oh, see, this included with not available. And let's go up here really quick. And this is no NA. Uh, what if we say with... Whoops. Uh, with NA. It's almost like the, the mix is, uh, didn't work there. Dog's going crazy on the floor. Um, interesting. You would expect more results from the match. 
right? Like, or at least I would. And maybe because it matched, it didn't find matches. I don't really know. Hmm. Yeah, so with NA here, and then you just need this. And so obviously the first time we did no NA, I think that was down maybe here. Um, let's see if we got our answer. Yeah, still saying zero. That's relatively frustrating. And that's the length there. And then let's match no NA with no NA up here. I mean, it's, I suppose it's possible that we literally get zero companies to invest in, but that kind of sounds wrong to me uh, because we have more <laughs> samples or less samples here. But maybe that's what's happening because uh, we are looking for a pretty highly, or like a high value, um, you know, six percent or more outperformance. So I suppose, but you would expect that these samples are included in in these samples, but of course these have a lot that aren't included in this, and maybe that something is, you know significantly changing our results but anyway uh, I think in the next video we're gonna cover how to vary the uh, performance output to decide you know what number we want and we can actually do that right in this script so we're gonna cover that so stay tuned for that uh, if you guys have any questions or comments on this video please feel free to leave them below otherwise as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support and subscriptions and until next time